This is the best restaurant. Every single dish, just absolutely stunning. Just to put that in context, every restaurant we've eaten at, <laughs> Young has said, this is my favorite restaurant. <laughs> so <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. But yes, every restaurant we've eaten at has been a very good restaurant. Hector Oribe is the only restaurant in the tiny village of Paganos. We were looking for someplace really fun to have lunch, and we found this tiny restaurant in a tiny village in Rioja. 400 meters, turn right onto Nabarita Serapidea, A4207. Hector Oribe is the only restaurant in the tiny village of Paganos. Turn right onto Nabarita Serapidea, A4206. That has a Michelin star, and that also has five stars on TripAdvisor as one of the top restaurants in the area. And it's only about 12 minutes away from our hotel. So we decided to have lunch here. We made reservations, and now we're looking forward to trying it. It's called Hector Oribe. And I'm not sure of the name of the village, but it's a tiny little village in Rioja, right next to the Marques de Riscal Hotel. So we are going to have a lunch, and it'll be fun. So they were very nice to give us a, a bigger table so yes. we can sit together. Mm -hmm. And um, and we are going to have a really spectacular yeah. lunch here. This is absolutely, I've never had this before. Absolutely delicious. They have an incredible wine list. I took a look at it. They have the Roda from Aro, which is a really good uh, Rioja Reserva. They have the Marques de Risca Reserva, but we've already had that a couple of times now at our hotel. They have the CVNE 2017 Imperial, which I believe during I that year, that year it was listed as the best wine in the entire world. And they have it here for like $49. So cheap for, for a top quality, the best wine in the world. How can we pass that up? So we're gonna get a bottle of that. Young's gonna get drunk and then the camera's gonna shake all over the place, but we'll be okay. <laughs> We'll be fine. I'm gonna try the tasting menu, which has yeah. all kinds of really good things like suckling pig. I gotta have that one. Yes. Spain. Her cochineo. She loves oh, her cochineo. Love. So yes. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Ready. We will get the bottle of the Imperial, the CVNE. You moved it. Oh, sorry. Try this. Try Very nice. It's, it's going to take right. maybe five minutes or so to open up, but it's really good. A lot of body to it. Thank you. Elizabeth, you would mm. love this wine. This has so much tannin, it's really good. Oh. Oh. Another nice lunch. We are eating very well in Spain. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Now, realistically, you know, this menu has a lot of fish on it. You know I'm not a fish person, but, you know, Young needs her cochineo. She craves it. Mm. Salmon. Mm -hmm. So now if you piss me off, I can... I know. Mm -hmm. But when you open it, the inside is so soft mm -hmm. and warm. Mm. Isn't it? This inside is so soft. It's like and it's got a real bread soft, flavor. Yeah. Cake. Thank you. Oh my God, it's how pretty. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Little tiny tomato on the top. And little bit Big of, red pepper underneath. Little bit sauce. Oh, olive. Mm. Mm. And to be seen on top of mm. red pepper. The olives are very good. I love anchovy. I'm going to take some salt. Wow. 
I'm going to I'm going to eat the red I'm going to eat the red pepper and the olives and I'm going to give young all my anchovies. <laughs> He's taking out all the anchovies. <laughs> These are for you. Oh, that's okay. Leave it there. <gasps> for red pepper. Mm -hmm. Red pepper and the olives are really good. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Wow. Red pepper so the olive and Anchovy is not salty at all. It's like not from the can. Pure anchovy. Yeah. Mm. Holy cow, this is so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I like this a lot. This is almost a taste like a gila. Anchovy, olives. Um, red pepper, salty, sour, sweet, taste just amazing. The difference is a gilda usually is on a skewer and mm -hmm. it has green pepper instead of red pepper. Mm -hmm. Different kind of form of gilda. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm speechless, it's so good. Do you know what, I'm taking your more anchovy. Fine. Yes. This anchovy, oh, so fresh, wow. To the anchovy, for me, the anchovy flavors the pepper, the olives, mm. and it's got some olive oil on it. And so I can eat the peppers, the olives, it has mm. a slight anchovy flavor, and that's really tasty to me. Mm. I can't eat the anchovies by themselves, mm. but I can eat everything mm. else. Mm. Mm. Holy cow. I'm going to wipe it up for all these moments. This sauce is just fantastic. Mm. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Swiss chard Her? with cod. Okay. I can see you know, the cod and see it on top of the almost like a sandwich mm. kind of shape. A cod chicharron. You know, Young and I were just talking while the camera was off and I said, mm -hmm. if we were in the United States and we wanted to eat at a Michelin restaurant, have the finest wine in the world, and have a tasting menu, we'd probably pay somewhere between 800 and and $1,000. The wine itself probably would have been $600. The, the tasting menu probably would have been two, three, four hundred dollars yeah. each. Our entire menu, everything, the wine, the food, everything here is going to cost us about $150 for everything. So think about it. You could spend your money on a trip to Spain. You could enjoy the Spanish countryside. You could enjoy the Spanish culture. And you could have amazing menus. If you ate three Michelin menus here in Spain, mm -hmm. it would probably compensate for the cost of three Michelin restaurants in the United States. Think about, yeah. that's one of the reasons to travel is that you're not spending as much money on just yeah. the most incredible experiences mm -hmm. you've had. And not to mention the differences in culture, the differences in food, and just the ability to understand how much more rich your life can be by understanding more about other cultures and other peoples. Definitely. Mm -hmm. The Swiss chard and this cup. Together, it's like make it heaven taste. You can taste this um, cup, it's been dried, and then um, we soak it in the water, and so because it tastes a bit kind of um, chewy. Spanish bacala, that's a, that's a traditional Spanish dish where they take mm -hmm. the cod, they salt it, they dry it, mm -hmm. <clears throat> then they soak it, they get the salt out of it, mm -hmm. and they cook it. This, this chocolate, I can see the uh, fiber coming out. Mm -hmm. This chocolate is just really juicy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they make this. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. It's kind of sweet. Savory. Mm -hmm. You know, I like warm food. 
Let me out uh, this with the skin. Baby skin and Swiss chard. Mm -hmm. and, um, cut all together. I really like this restaurant because I can see it's very unpretentious. Look at this, both finished. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. It's absolutely delicious. Black pudding in uh, Spain, they call it morcilla. It's basically a blood sausage um, and it's one of Young's favorite dishes actually so here. So pretty. They, yeah, they did a great yeah. job with it. Wow, really pretty. Is it too rude to just say, uh, Michelin restaurant, eat like this? No. Mm -hmm. Eat it however you want to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Red bean cream and that is spiced pepper. Mm -hmm. Why would there is inside? Absolutely phenomenal. That's some more sea inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really hot. Mm. Mm. What kind of clothes am I made of? So Probably crispy. like, yeah. It's like a flower. Did we blow clothes? Mm -hmm. I think my Korean family love, love this. Yes. <gasps> I'm going to bring my Korean family over here. They, I think this is going to be their favorite restaurant. <gasps> yeah, the food here is mm -hmm. really a step above. Mm -hmm. Very good, good quality food. This is absolutely, I never had this before. Absolutely delicious. So this is Morcia. That's Morcia. So good. If I'm a Michelin star panel, I would be a Michelin star. Mm -hmm. And Morcia is such a classic Spanish ingredient. They really, they do it well mm. here. Mm. Mm. Again, you know, for me, not my favorite ingredient. I'm, I don't love Morcia. I don't like seafood. You know, that's me. That's just my thing. But I always try it. You know, when I'm here, I try it because it is a classic ingredient. So unfortunate. All the good stuff, he doesn't like it. All the good stuff. All the junk I, stuff. I only like the junk. Yes. Undeniable. Mm -hmm. Wow. I tried it. I'm so full. I want to take it home. <laughs> it won't be the same when it's cold. Unfortunately, you have the same hotel. Mm. We have a refrigerator in the hotel, but it won't be the same when it's cold. No. My Korean family, this is hay. Really, look at this. Very it's green. Risotto in the bottom, it's it, it, green risotto. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Hector mm. Oribe is the chef. Hector Oribe. Hector Oribe, the, the restaurant is named after him and he's the chef. There's a green foam oh on top. Oh my God. Let me taste the... Uh, it's like a mayo. It's a green mayonnaise foam. Really good. Mm. The risotto is delicious. Risotto is delicious. Wow. 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 Every dish. I absolutely love this. Mmm. Mm. So, so good. See, I like merluza because it's a very mm. mild fish. Mm. It's a good fish. Look at this. How mm -hmm. soft and delicate. Just the risotto, I think, is made out of rice and peas. Perfectly. Mm -hmm. You know, I recommend this restaurant to everybody. Um, I think this is the best restaurant. We've been here in Spain two weeks. Yes. This is the best restaurant. Every single dish, 
just absolutely stunning. Just to put that in context, every restaurant we've eaten at, <laughs> Young has said, this is my favorite restaurant. <laughs> so <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. But yes, every restaurant we've eaten at has been a very good restaurant. Tea. Yes, this was the real reason Young wound up getting the Sucking tasting tea. menu, was they had cochineal on the menu, and she loves her cochineal. And I love cochineal as well. It's one, of my, <laughs> it's one of my favorite Spanish dishes, and that's basically suckling pig. It's very pretty. Okay, it's got an apple marmalade on the outside. It is our presentation. And it's got a savory like a, a jus inside. So it's got the pork jus, it's mm -hmm. got the suckling pig, oh, the, the crispy skin on top. Oh, wow, yeah. With apple marmalade on the outside. Really nice. <gasps> wow. Delicious cochineal flavor. Wow. Really good. Except for the fact that it's too small, it's really delicious. Really small. Well, we get that with Michelin restaurants. They give mm. you a tasting menu. You get a little bit of everything. And it's not going to be giant, mm. but it's still mm. going to be tasty. Oh, my goodness. It's got pears on top. Oh, there was pears? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Artichoke? This is probably a, an artichoke piece, although the strands on the top look like saffron. It's not artichoke. It's very pretty, but it's fried. So keep the shape. It's good. Mm. Good fried. OMG. And a little rosemary this spray. Pig is so good. Yes. This is very good cochineo. Mm. Is a yellow? There's a potato? No, it's pear. Oh, there's pear. Oh, yeah. It's a pear. Pear is worth it, kind of cleansing the palate, right? Yes. Mm. Ooh, look at that. What is okay, this? this is a melon, melon soup. soup. Okay. Melon soup with pineapple and lemongrass ice cream. Okay. <laughs> And it, there's cocoa on the plate, dusting of cocoa. So this is melon soup? Mm-hmm. It's cold. Oh, that's, yeah, of course. Cold melon soup. It's very so good, isn't it? It's very tasty. What kind of melon is this? This cantaloupe or honeydew. Cantaloupe. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Very nice. Wow. This is genius. How many stars do they have this restaurant? One, I think. Oh, the lemongrass ice cream is a nice counterpoint to the melon soup. Very creative, stimulates mm. all your taste buds. Oh my God. Very good. It's got little chunks of pineapple in the melon soup. So the melon soup is like a really strong melon flavor, but then you get the chunks of the pineapple mm -hmm. that give you the tanginess. And then the lemongrass soup gives you an astringency or the lemongrass ice cream yeah. gives you an astringency. If I'm sick, really good. if somebody bring in this soup, I'm gonna be feeling much better. It's better than chicken soup. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me try the ice cream. This is Spanish penicillin instead of Jewish penicillin. Oh, ice cream is so good too. What the ice cream made, made of? Lemongrass. Wow. This is very, very tasty. Mm. I am so glad that we are here today. Wow. Whoa. This is such a unique place, guys. Uh -huh. If you make it to Rioja, uh -huh. this is in the shadow of a mountain. Mm -hmm. Little village. Just amazing places. The restaurant, it's not like this is a big town. Uh -huh. The restaurant is the only thing we've seen so far in this mm -hmm. town besides houses and a park. This is a totally must busy restaurant. Espuma de platano con frutas rojas. 
banana foam with red fruits and chocolate and cookies in a little mason jar, all sealed up. Oh, cookies on top. And you open it up and reveal your present. So cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. Very tasty. Yes. Mm. With chocolate, banana, red fruit. The other one's better. You think so? I like this too. It's calling to me. Steve, Steve. See? Yeah? It's calling to me. Uh, I know. <laughs> it was pleasant. In all, an excellent lunch. Really refined experience, delicious food. Everything was good. Um, I liked the non-fish dishes much better than the fish dishes, but fish I dishes were the fish dishes were good. Yes, and the Spanish fish dishes in general are quite good, but as a non-fish person, the non-fish dishes were very good. And of course, I went crazy for the desserts because I like sweets. Um, Young loved the fish dishes. Young thought they were all amazing, and uh, and she's this glad we got this. The cochineo was really good. It's one of the better cochineos I've had. But this, in general, this was an excellent restaurant, refined experience. I feel like I need to walk around and go, oh, 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 <laughs> because we ate so well. And actually, the entire meal cost us like $150 for the two of us. No way. Yeah. And we got ourselves with the best wine in the world. So we got ourselves a really good experience. You know, it's worth coming to Spain just for experiences like this. And we hope you try it. It's called Hector Oribe, and it's in a tiny village, but it's so good. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting culinary adventures.